Hello, hope you're all doing all well. For this time, we'll be needing a kinky book attachment, a scissor, a ribbon brush, a crochet pin, and need one tray. So let's get started. So firstly, you have to make a C-cut on the front part of your hair. Make a neat part. Then secure the back section of the hair. When you're done with that, go back to the front side. I want to weave the hair now, so just make out a small coat. I want to make about four or three cornrows, depending, but I'm starting off with one now. Depending on how many rows you want your kinky hair to be when you fold it in. I'm thinking mine should be about three or four. Definitely going to be three. I don't want it to be too bulky. So you start off. Once you cut out, then you weave. So while we are at it, don't forget to give my video a thumbs up and also subscribe. Thank you as you did that. Okay, so once you're through with that, then use the crochet pin to secure the tips. I'm starting off with the kinky hair. So once you put it in, get one, fold it, then use the hook to secure it. Take one of it inside, not the two of it. This will make it to have an invisible part. At least it will make it to look natural. Because if you take the two across, the knots will be visible. But now you just have to take one. Yes, take one, then draw it. Just make one of the hair to cross the knot. And the other one will have to cover the knot. But I don't know how to explain it, but when you're doing it, I think practically you're going to understand it. So once you're through with that, use your ribbon brush to brush out the kinky hair. Then fold it in tie your needle and thread and get to work use the needle and thread to secure the fold so once you're through with the first fold you go back to the second use your crochet pin install the kinky heads fold it in use your needle and thread to secure it it's just as simple as that yeah, I'm on the last row now, so at last I made three. Do I did four cornrows, but I just used two cornrows for one. Now you can see the part, my back part wasn't that neat. So, but the front side is what matters to me. That one is neat, so, but the back side, yeah. I can do with it. I can take this hair for like two to three weeks, depending. Because it's a protective style. My ends are all tucked in. So, back now to the I'm back to the um, the last section. Use the spray bottles. I spray my water. Use my brush to take down the hair. Inside that spray bottle, I have my coconut oil, water, and leave-in conditioner. The three of them, I mix them together in the spray bottle. That's what I use on my hair. So I use my rubber band to secure it. Then weave the puff. You see what I said? That this is a protective style because once you, I'm weaving this, and all my ends are tucked in. So none of them is exposed. I know we are entering the harsh weather, so you just have to take care of your hair as much as you can. So tuck it in. Use the crochet pin to secure the end. Don't let it out. So because once you, all that you be all that will be out is going to be the crochet hair, the uh, sorry the kinky hair. So use the crochet pin. I start putting the cro the kinky hair. <laughs> what was with me and the crochet? Okay, just use the crochet pin and start installing the kinky hair. So that is it. Once you're done installing, plate the tips and tuck it in. Use your bobby pin to hold it down, and you are done. That's it. That's it. Your hair is done. Then brush it. If you want, you can use gel. Sometimes I use gel, like in the morning when I'm going out. I just use gel and brush to take it down with my spray bottle. I just spray the spray bottle with the water. Then that's it. Alright, bye.